Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. Supreme gratitude for your love, support, and patience with me this week. <clears throat> your support is greatly appreciated, but I will push out you guys a couple of um, extra readings this week. Getting busy, busy, busy. Um, so we're going to jump into a collective message, see what message the Spirit has for you. Okay? Keep in mind, this is a general reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest. Energy smooth, so reverse the roles as need be, okay? If you would like a personal reading, please click the description box below. Visit my website to book your personal reading. And get your spiritual tools, your spiritual items. If you go through the regular website, spiritualgoddess.com, that's G-A-W-D-D-E-S-S, -S, you can click on the affiliate tab and um, go to the storefront that way as well. All right, I hope everybody is making it through. Nope. <laughs> nope, not that day. All right. I hope everybody is making it through. Um, these different uh, planetary shifts, Mercury retrograde, all of that good stuff. Happy Cinco de Mayo. All of that good stuff to everybody. We are doing tacos and tequila tonight. message is going to be very specific you have uh caring connections number 14 could be significant or the number five you have creation gossip and wisdom you got quests quest and journey back to back with the world card trickery. Mm. Mm. Okay. There's going to be a couple messages, possibly, but it's one that's standing out here. Someone is looking for a truth. Someone was trying to find out a truth to end a cycle. It's like they, they weren't stopping until they found out. You got creation here and gossip with wisdom, right? Caring connection here. Someone is trying to find out a truth about something here. But with the trickery and discovery, somebody could be playing games. Somebody could even have a child that they thought was theirs. And then they found out the child was not theirs. But the flip side to that is that they are receiving like abundance for the role that they did play in this child's life during this time. But then someone else here is just mad. Number three, number eight. Okay. Um, stands out a lot. Somebody here is just absolutely pissed off. What's up, little book? Uh, go, I'll go in there. I'm coming. Somebody here is pissed off because you do have hostilities. Like somebody loves someone a lot. If this is not with a child, this is like a relationship. I'm hearing private detective, private eye. Like you find out something. You found out somebody's cheating. Somebody's playing games, right? Like, they're mad. Heart chakra. The number 11 is here twice. 
and somebody is just realizing that it's over. I feel like they're like, hey, I put in so much time and energy into the situation and this is how it ends. Yeah, somebody is like, somebody is, 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 is pissed. All right, man or female, right? The man only represents masculine energy. Hearing, connection, creation, gossip, and wisdom. Like this is somebody, like there is a lot of love in this connection, a lot of love in this situation. Somebody could have gotten someone pregnant on the outside or gotten pregnant on the outside of a connection, but the, the, the child is not theirs. Definitely trickery in the mix within this connection. All right, let's see what we're talking about. Let's clarify clear and connection for the connection. This could have been in the past. But you cared for someone so much that you just couldn't walk away. All right. You cared for someone so much that you just really wanted it to work. Even though you knew that this person wasn't right for you. Even though you knew this person had played with you. But you just cannot remove your energy. All right. You got the seven of swords in reverse. And you got the emperor in reverse. And you got the six of pentacles in reverse, right? And then the empress. So this was a divine connection between you and this person, emperor and empress, at one point. A lot of major arcanas at the bottom of the deck. I feel like you brought a lot to the situation, but because your heart was in it, right? And flip the rose as need be. But because your heart was in it so deeply, you couldn't find it to walk away from this particular person or this situation, Right, even though you were bringing in the most of the situation, the emperor is in reverse. This is somebody that was leaning on you. They weren't, they weren't in their fullest potential. But it's like maybe you love them a lot, but you could have like stopped giving to them financially here. You could have like, hey, you got to figure this out. Six of Pentacles. I'm no longer giving into the situation. I'm no longer helping you as I was. But you're not walking away. It's like you're like, no, this is your karma. Your person could be a uh, fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or dealing with the fire sign. Someone, So you could have a fire sign in your life that you were communicating with, and they were like, no. Like, you're like, I just want to be happy, and you're trying to figure out how to get to your happiness. Some of you guys could have came up pregnant and felt as though you were happy and this is where you wanted to go. But then you find out, you, you probably thought that once you got pregnant, this person was going to stop being flighty, stop being in and out, stop offering their love to other people, stop checking out. You, you felt like that cycle was over, but the magician is in reverse. Page of Pentacles is in reverse. Queen of Cups is in reverse. Like, yeah, this person is not like, like they, they didn't change their ways. So what you may have thought would have been something to help you along the way is like this person is like, yeah, no, there's a lot of love there, but this is a lot of drama in this connection as well. It's a lot of chaos, conflict, more so I'm hearing, I, I don't want anybody else to have you. So it's more so like you don't want the next, you don't want them to be happy with the next person. You may feel like you put in too much work for them to go and be happy with the next person. Let's clarify creation for the collective. Please clear precise messages. I'm sure. Okay, so you have the Justice and you have the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Mm. But you have the World in reverse. All right, a lot of back and forth. I'm just really getting like just an energy of <clears throat> there's a lot of love, but someone doesn't want somebody to move on. The justice with the Knight of Pentacles in reverse is like, this is playing out. Someone has to stop giving to the situation. But it's like, even if you stop giving to it, like the cycle wasn't over. The cycle, the cycle didn't, it didn't, it didn't stop there. So you could have walked away, but then went back. Situation, even going back, situation wasn't moving. The foundation still was, was rocking, still had a lot going on. But it's like you were no longer stressed because the person was in your energy. 
So it's like, you know, it's like going back to something just to go back to it and that's your comfort zone, but it's still not moving, right? It's not supposed to be. So if you went back to this person during retrograde, it's just really to make you comfortable, but it's not working. Like it's not aligning. This is not what it is. It's not what you're supposed to have. If you're, if you're going with this, you're dragging it out. Let's clarify gossip for the collective spirit. I don't know who got oh my god Knight of Swords in reverse Three of Wands Page of Pentacles in reverse This reading is low vibrational <laughs> It's it's kind of like with the devil <laughs> with the devil at the bottom of the deck <laughs> and the tower <laughs> that popped out like that okay tower okay look okay it's kind of like you know when you with somebody for so long you love them you you want it to work but it's just not it's like you're comfortable with this person but you know it's not gonna work People around you are talking about like this person and, 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 and how your relationship is. How do the people around you know? <laughs> Y'all just hating. No, nobody's hating on you. This is this is garbage. Nobody's hating on you. Nobody's trying to stop you from being happy. You know, you you gotta <laughs> stop hating on them people because they telling the truth and you in the blind. This this is not this somebody here is like they're leaning on you for what you can do, but they're very toxic. Capricorn energy here, Libra energy here. Um Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Capricorn, Tides, Virgo, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, anywhere in a prominent placement in their chart. Devil energy. It's like you're attached to this person, but you you know, like it, it's it's some type of very toxic attachment, but it's not going anywhere. You're not having success in this situation. You're, this person is just there just to be there and you're comfortable with this person just being there just to be there because it's not so it's like being at a point in your journey where you're like man I don't want to start over or it's nothing out there so I might as well deal with what I got that's like the energy that I'm that I'm getting from whoever is holding on to this it's like I might as well deal with it because this is all that I got and that's not all that you got but as long as you keep telling yourself that this is what you're going to get you could have a child with this person you could have been holding on for the child, not ending the cycle when it was supposed to, so you don't have the harmony. You just got a body. <laughs> you got a shell. <laughs> That's it. That's it. Let's clarify wisdom for the collective spirit. Wisdom, knowing that this is not going to work. Four of Wands in reverse, Will of Fortune, and the Empress. You are the Empress here. You, you've you still shown as the Empress. The Empress has been present um, at the bottom of the deck, you know, not far within the first three cards at the bottom of the deck. Um, you're the Empress here. And you have to know your value, your worth. You have to know that. Everything that you've went through in the past was not just to go through it to end up back where you are. You have to know that you deserve better. And this person, yeah, I, 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 you see the you see the value in this person. You know that this could, person could be an emperor, 
but they're stuck in the emperor in reverse energy and they're not going for it. You need the wisdom and you have to pray for the wisdom to see that this situation is not stable. The situation is not moving or conducive with your higher purpose. And it's time for you to put in the work to move forward. Okay. So to be the empress, you have to, you have to acknowledge who you are, cut off communication, move forward, focus on your finances, speak your truth. King of Pentacles energy for this person. Continue to pray for them, of course. Continue to pray for them. I feel like you've had you've been praying and you've had a lot of patience with this person, hoping that they would come back around or hoping that they would be the person that they once were to you, but it's it's not. It's like, you know. So yeah, you prayed and I always pray. But you have to um you have to continue to stay aligned with yourself and that's doing what's right for you and not this situation here. Cause this is like this booty. <laughs> this ain't it um i feel like everything will start to align when you start to let go um because the situation is so deep it's not one of those situations that you can just turn over a new leaf overnight but you have to pray and ask for the guidance to get in a better position when it comes to this situation a uh, shame